Okay, good evening folks. We are excited to bring you what is just amazing news this evening. Not even 12 hours ago, we interviewed Mr. Roy about him having misplaced and dropped over $10,000 or $10,000 US in a bag, his passport, his travel documents, um, some jewelry, I mean really important things. He's going to be leaving the island soon on rollover and unfortunately the bag was left in the car and um, got dropped. So here we are now with some amazing news in that it's been found. It's, you know, we've got good people in this community, good people on this island who have came forward after the video posted again this happened on Saturday. So we're just gonna get an update and we're joined by Miss um, Odette who is his wife and she's gonna give us a little bit of background information on what transpired in terms of how it got lost in the first place. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Hello, question. good evening. My name is Odette Gillett. What really happened, I was at home and I was babysitting my co-worker daughter. Me and Mr. Roy were going back to town to sign, get our cover letter for him. For the, for the, for the... PR. For the, for the PR, right. Then I, we went out of the house. I have the bag in my right hand. In my left hand, I have a bag, but I have a dish with some food. So when I went to the car, I put the bag with the money and the jewels and everything on the car top to open the car to put the baby inside of the car. Okay. But when I put the baby inside of the car, now I go and sit back in my seat. Go and sit in my seat. Okay. Didn't remember that the bag was on the top of the car. And we went off. When we drive, 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 and reach to car, cast you less. I saw a lady coming in a grey car and she said, your bag drop off, she didn't stop or anything, you know. Yeah. But I just watched her mouth and she said, your bag drop off. Oh, and me, wow. Mr. Bogle, the bag with the money, went the panic car top. And Bogle stopped and started to reverse and me start to run. Yeah. We come out of the car and start to run. Mm -hmm. And that's it, you go back and say no see the bag and that was it. Wow. So. We spoke to you this morning. Yeah. We know that it was almost a one in a million chance yes. that this money yes. would be found and returned. Yes. And so a lot of us were praying, we were hopeful. Yeah. And here we are, less than 12 hours later within the same day. Yeah. Now this happened on Saturday. Saturday yes. yes. And here we are Monday, less than 12 hours later, and you have the money back. Tell us what happened. Yes, tomorrow, um, tomorrow is his um, last day here, not tomorrow. Tomorrow is his yes. last day here. Yes, tomorrow, oh tomorrow my is my gosh. last day. I'm supposed to go to the immigration tomorrow to, to look some more time. get some more time. Yes. Um, because my boss is in Jamaica, but to sign the my PR. PR paper to drop in for my PR. And he's not coming back until probably next week because I called him one time and he said he's not going to even come up because he has a, a dead in Jamaica. Right. So I have to win to get some more time. Um, I went to his house this evening because his wife is here. So I went to his house all the way in Breakers this evening. Yeah. On my way back in Prospect, I hear my phone ring. Yeah. And I hear a light gentleman say, is, this is Roy. And I said, yes, this is Roy. And my son was in the car with me and I gave him the phone. I said, I can't talk on the phone because I'm driving. So if you can talk to my son, then you can say what you're saying. And he said, oh, um, I found your bag with all of your money inside of it and wow. I live in the West Bay and he asked me where in West Bay you live and I tell him and he said I live just a few blocks from you oh my in West Bay. He said he was going to fishing yeah. Saturday 1 to 2 and when he come right at Kenton at the corner mm -hmm. to be in the corner to right at the yard club he found the bag in the road. So he scattered. found it from Saturday? He found it from Saturday and he said okay. he was saying to his friends let us carry to the police station and, and his friend yes. said no let us wait and see if anybody going to go on here and then we will bring the bag right. to them so where did he find out about the bag in right at the roundabout no i mean how did he know today to contact you on facebook wow so he saw the video he saw the video on oh, facebook okay. and that's how he he, he brings yes, the bags yes, to me and i was said i mean good people are in the world and good yes. people and, and god is able yes. all the time and I believe in God for a very long time yeah. and he's proved his proved itself to me tonight. Yeah. God is able and I supposed to trust him and do anything he asks me to do, praise him. Yeah, because God is real and I know that and I thank him so very much and I give him five hundred dollars out of the money right. this evening wow. for what he had done for me and I thank him so very much. Yeah.
Yeah, so, he never want to take the bunny. And he didn't want, he, he didn't want to take the bunny. I have to force him and say, take it, man. Yeah. yeah. So I know there is good people in this world. Yes. Yeah. And this and was a Filipino gentleman. This was a Filipino gentleman. Right. Okay. And I'm thankful and for of that. of course, you guys contacted us to share the good news. Yes, and, and I contacted them. Yeah. So, what, what would you just like to say, um, you know, in general to people? Because this is all the people who share it. Um, yeah. I thank all the people them that sharing it and pray for me and the prayer is answered. And what I want to say, whenever someone finds anything, for anybody you must just give it up yeah. yeah because you don't know what that person how hard he work for what he has right. so just give it up and right. give god thanks what's your feeling about i don't think you guys have facebook i yeah have facebook. i am facebook, oh, what, I have facebook. what's your feeling about um, facebook and the power of social media the power of mall road thousands it, of people saw this video is the first i know that mall road is the first because i went to my wife boss this morning at the yeah. radio came on and she said she gonna have to call Mario because it's a good thing because a couple of years ago a gentleman lost something and he's going Mario and that's how he get back his stuff. Yeah, so it's a good thing. Yes, yeah. Very good. Very good. Well, we, I mean, we're very. This is we we reunited people with their dogs, wallets, even two birds. But this takes the cake. Is a is a good thing. I mean, this is an is amazing. Is a is a good good, good thing. Situation. Yeah. So you have to go back so, to Kim Khan tomorrow. Yeah. 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 It's there. It's but there. Yeah. This basically, there. I find everything. So that is yeah. good. And I, I thank God for that. Yeah. And thank God for those people. And I hope they live thank very, very long. Family now. Thank you guys so much. Thank you too. Um, really good. appreciate this update <laughs> this evening. And I drove all the way out here <laughs> from Thanks. New Orleans yeah. because yeah. I know people want, they wanted a resolution to this. Yeah. And they wanted this good feel yeah. story. And it's nice that everyone can now go to bed tonight knowing yeah. this is resolved yeah. and there's still wonderful people in the world. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much again thank for the update. Thank you. Thank you. And thank, thank you. Bye-bye.